I think what uh, has changed this week is that we've found a new role for the military to play in community support over and above the sort of uh, engineering tasks that they were previously being deployed on and uh, what I discovered when I went out to Raysbury on Tuesday was a real appetite uh, among communities affected for just a visible presence on the ground. I'm sorry, I am going to get emotional. There are a hundred people of this village currently working together, none of them agents, none of them, not one. There is not one environment agency officer here. They're in an office. They need to be here. They have no idea. We have been working for 48 hours, evacuating people, risking our own lives, going into waters that would be over my head. We have had fire and rescue 814 people. We have evacuated a hundred houses. We need the army. We said that yesterday. You don't take us seriously. Gold Command don't take us seriously. What will it take for you to understand? We are seriously in need. And it took that, didn't it? I mean, it took uh, telling off on live television for you to send them in. Well, look, as I was go driving into Raysbury that morning, I spoke to the Gold Commander and he told me that the troops were on their way uh, to Raysbury at that time. They had been asked for. But as I said, as a consequence of that uh, visit to Raysbury, we did go back to Cobra and suggest that there was a second role for troops. So Not that did have an effect? Though, oh, it did, counted. absolutely. And, and, you know, there's been a lot of talk this week about um, politicians doing flood tourism. Um, encouraging us to stay in Whitehall rather than get out and see what's happening on the ground would be a very, very bad idea.